Okay, so I've hit a couple hiccups. Um, the plants seem to be doing pretty good. Again, it's been a while uh, since I've checked in and also it's been a while since I've done this with tanks but the plants are doing good um, I've had a lot of growth if you reference the previous video my plan on doing a lot of breeding was halted uh, mainly because uh, I had a what I was told was a freshwater cyanobacteria it's like a blue-green algae outbreak um, that was something that I had to buy medication for, and uh, I guess it's like enzymes, and I treated the tank with that. And then shortly after, um, I started to notice, I don't know if that lowered the immunity of the fish or whatnot, but I started to notice that the uh, a lot of the fish had tail and fin rot, um, and that was a huge headache with the medication I had to get for that. That was uh, some liquids that I had to put in and do massive water change. Um, I have some, I, this guy's like a little hitchhiker. They put him in the bag with some fish that I had bought in the beginning. And it's a little cichlid. I mean, right now he seems to be pretty harmless, but he's going to have to come out soon enough. Uh, he's been growing really quickly. But um, the plants are doing great. It's just uh, I ran into some hiccups with the fish. So I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping what I have in there survives. I had some zebra danios and I have one left. They have all perished. The uh, little breeder boxes I have up top, I'm using as nurseries. I've got a lot of plants in there, uh, little pieces to propagate. Propagated a bunch of my Java fern. Um, I've got some of these stemming plants. I have no idea what they are. I think I've even seen them in my local lakes. But um, they're going pretty pretty well. The Anacris or Elodia, I don't know what people call it these days. He's doing really well. And I bought a second um, type of grass. It's in the back there. There's two of them. Uh, so my water quality is not bad. But um, fish just aren't doing well for some reason. Uh, I had a lot of uh, die-off of the endler population that I started with. I think that was due to the fin rot. It just didn't do well. I've got a few guppies. I think I've added uh, like two or three in here since. Um... But uh, I'm going to start by removing, I was going to try to see if everything could work out, but I'm going to start by removing the male Gambusia, uh, probably uh, this weekend. Um, they're a little aggressive, and I've seen that they're flaring quite a bit. Uh, that's one of them right there. Um, females aren't that bad. That's the one uh, Zebra Daniel I have left. But the, uh, the male Gambusia, there's a little bugger right there, tend to be really just nasty with each other um they're getting very territorial and i don't know if it's because there's less fish in here now that uh they have the opportunity to be territorial or not but i'm going to be removing them and uh then i'm going to try to focus on maybe getting a couple more endlers in here i've got a really healthy male endler right there let's see if i can get the focus on him Got some weird patterns. I've got a couple males in here um, that have survived. And I'm going to see if I can beef the endler population back up. But I just think that the Gambusia are not going to be uh, good tank mates with the endlers. I, I feel like the males are nipping at their fins. If anyone has any experience with that, let me know. I feel like Gambusia are not something that are normally kept with other ornamentals. Maybe they got an aggression issue, I don't know. But if anyone knows, uh, I'd appreciate it, let me know. Uh, I'll be trying to post another video to show the progress in one week uh, around that time. Thank you guys.